Dog Day 337. Good morning. I have a tour. I don't have a tour this morning. Apparently, I need to sleep. Hey, there's still a shirt in here. I'm not wearing that shirt today. Today, I guess, is the beginning of my weekend. And since it's a three-day weekend, having Monday off just makes sense. I'm going to meet Rob, who is a regular commenter on the vlog. You'll see his comments below on YouTube here and there. And who's also my biggest Patreon. My biggest patron on Patreon. And he gave me this hat. He actually is the guy who left the two hats yesterday. And so I was like, dude, why, if you're in Paris, we should meet up for a drink. So we're going to get coffee in about 30 minutes, I think. Yeah, and then I'm meeting Nicola for lunch. He'll remember for being tall in French. And we've been trying to hang out for a while, and for whatever reason, it just hasn't worked out. So we're going to do that. And it's raining. And that's all the up. You don't need any more than that. I also have this whole pile of ponchos I need to return. Shouldn't keep those for too long. <laughs> I sort of missed my connection. So I went from being a couple minutes late to being more than a couple minutes late, but we'll see how this goes. Just need to get to line 13. I was feeling, I think, pretty justifiably wiped by the end of yesterday. But getting a little bit of a distance from watching the guy jump on video it helped to kind of reduce the drama of the moment for me a little bit and to kind of give me some time to think about it. Basically all my emotions over the whole thing were conflicted and confusing, like feeling like I, somehow witnessing it was violating that guy's privacy or that guy's moment and at the same time feeling violated for being forced to witness that and then not knowing, you know, if he's okay but also knowing he's not okay and then sit standing there being like, what are you doing, man? Like, I, I know people that jump into this canal for fun. I don't know, I just was exhausted. I was already pretty tired from a week of biking around and then that just kind of like, kind of took it out of me. And then the vlog ended up being, you know, 10 minutes long or whatever and I was like, we'll just cut out the rest. So, what you missed was um, Mandy made me a ham and cheese waffle with the, that sort of didn't include the ham or cheese until after the fact. That was kind of funny. And then I didn't manage to meet up with the blogging friends that I was hoping to because I hadn't edited the vlog and I spent too much time editing the vlog and by the time I got out of the cafe and made my way there, they're already gone. So on the upside, today should be hopefully less dramatic. Should be fun. Gonna go meet Rob right now, have a coffee, and maybe eat something too because I'm hungry. Hey, it looks pretty good. What? Mandy poured a good heart. Night of love. She's on her way. It looks like drugs. So I'm going on the record of saying this hot chocolate is very good. They don't believe me though. What? And she walks away to sneeze and doesn't even sneeze. What was that? Yeah. Uh, Rob, it was really nice to meet you. Again, thanks for the hat. Like, I love these things. They're perfect. And the dancers are leaving too. Have you guys even been in my vlog? I don't know if you guys have been in my vlog. You guys want to come be in my vlog? Yeah, yeah. So these guys, these guys are always hanging out here at the Peloton. <laughs> they claim to be dancers, but I've never seen them dance. So, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> well, well, once again, Rob, really good to meet you. And dancers, really nice to meet you too. I hope you guys make it back to France. Those guys are regulars at the uh, cafe and uh, they're leaving today. Like today's their last day. So uh, they're going to try and come back. We'll see if we see them again. In the meantime, Nicola has promised me good Mexican food. He says that there's a great Mexican place here in town that I just haven't tried and I need to try. I do love Mexican food, but let's be honest, as long as it tastes good, it doesn't matter if it's Mexican or not. So I'm gonna go meet Nicola now for some Mexican food. We will judge it to see if it's good or not, but if it's good, it'll be the second or maybe the third decent Mexican place that I've found in Paris so far, which is amazing because it used to be impossible to find good Mexican food around here. <laughs> Thank you.
makes me miss Zephyr more. I miss Zephyr. It was just a whole bunch of different emotions and uncertainties and, you know, you wonder like, should I have done something differently? Should I have just jumped in after him? And also you're worried that if he's flipping, if he's, if he's tripping out and he's wanting to jump in the water, is he going to fight somebody if they come in with him? I don't know. It was just a lot. It's hard to process and it's really hard to know for sure. I mean, there's no way that you should feel. It's not like there's a guaranteed reaction that you should have. And I'm still struggling to put words to it, but confused is probably the best. At the same time right now, I'm feeling a lot better about it. Watching again the footage yesterday was really helpful just to kind of put it into context and be like, okay, where there wasn't that dramatic. And I hope he's okay, but I think he will be. You know, he's hopefully he gets help, so. But I don't know, it's not my responsibility. So yeah, and it, I don't know, it's kind of highlighted just how much happier I, I am with life here. I don't know, today, like that day yesterday, up until the point that that guy jumped off the bridge, I was having a great day, like I was really excited about life. I picked up these hats, like it was cool, it's cool to meet people that are impacted by what I'm doing and that are enjoying what I'm putting my effort into and the work that I'm creating. I don't know, I feel like things are changing, things are happening, and I was really looking forward to meeting those bloggers, and then obviously got thrown off a little bit by what happened yesterday, but then it also just highlighted like how much happier I am here and how excited I am to be in Paris and how happy I am to be alive. And there's a guy throwing an umbrella in front of a train down here. Thankfully he didn't jump in front of the train. That would have been great. So they used to call it, is that it right there? Must be it. El Nepal, Taqueria, let's see it. These are called chilaquiles, is that what she said? Yeah. Looks delicious, I'm hungry. That was delicious. Much, I mean, not that I should say much better than expected, but it definitely lived up to, it lived up to the hype. <laughs>